I got started making music while I was working at Barton Gregg's DVD Explosion in Brunswick, Maine, where I'm from. And it was perfect timing for me because um, the store happened to be in a basement on Main Street in Brunswick, and my boss was awesome. And I one day just very like, you know, kind of coyly asked him if I could like hang, if I could like be down there working on a project after hours, and I worked the closing shift. Um, and he was like, Yeah, sure, just like whatever. Just you know, we open at nine, so just be out by 9 a.m. Um, and I was like, okay, great. And so I started storing gear behind a behind a wall of DVDs there. And af after I locked up the store, I would pull out my gear and start recording and learning how to play and singing. And it all went hand in hand. It all started all at once. And um, I ended up having that set up for four whole years, four years of working there and writing songs.
devoured my heart. You devoured my heart like you were a strawberry cake at a birthday celebration. But I still need your love. Still need your love. Oh, I need your love. I need your love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I still need your teeth around my organs. Still need your teeth from my organs still need your teeth from my organs still need your teeth from my organs still need your teeth Milk Duds is about a lot of things, but I wrote it quite a few years ago, and it changed slightly and lyrically over time before this album. This was one that was a solo song that I had a really fun time arranging for full band and writing the drums and just little things like the claps and the omnichord and that kind of thing. Uh, and it's a very nostalgic song. Parts of it are about basically with my best friend in high school when we were, you know, maybe 15, we discovered that she, her family's house had this room off of the garage that we had never noticed before and it was a storage room and over the summer her mom let us um, basically take it over as like the clubhouse and so we like spent our own money from our jobs and like carpeted it and painted it and like just like hung out in there and it was you know being 15 it was like such a magical summer just riding bikes and then going to the clubhouse and like drinking soda and whatever it was just so that song is a very like happy nostalgic type of thing. It's so, so good to be back here. Thank you guys so much. Um, this is my project, it's called Lady Lamb, and we're gonna just keep pumping through these songs. <laughs> Thank you guys. I love you. Yes, you're welcome. Oh, you knew my name. You're from Maine. I like that in a person. We're all from Maine. Yeah. I'm an old song that you once knew. You can't remember me for the life of you. And now they're singing you verses that I knew when you were longing for. Just to hear that chorus. To Brooklyn, you can close your eyes for a moment at a time, but in the dark they'll stay open. Always stay open. My spine gets the most sun when I'm not lying on my back with my brain stripping down into the palms of my hands. I'm always misplacing my wandering mind. It, it takes the metro, it's never on time, and now I'm trying to remember how to climb the stairs, how to tie my shoes, and how to.
I started sharing my music pretty shortly after writing it, which was surprising to me because I wasn't I wasn't planning on doing that. But I first shared it with my boss Bart, and was very nervous about it. But he was so supportive and gave me like really good constructive criticism for kind of he kind of in so many words helped me understand that like the songs had a lot of potential, but they were like all over the place, and to try to hone that. So I uh, started trying to make more concise music and then started performing and realized I really loved it. Um, as introverted and as shy as a person as I was, I really connected with performing and um, slowly started playing in Boston and you know Burlington. After moving to Portland and being part of the Portland scene for a while, decided that I was ready to move out of Maine and try to get the music further. <laughs> I picked the pieces up and put them in my pocket I ain't gonna try to win your heart this time That's space to think and I think that I've grown a little wiser I'm looking for a new muse you have See both sets of rims almost escaping your skin to fly south South until the springtime your hips stood out Like confidence you were naked as a newborn in the snow But you wanted it so That's precisely how you wanted it And now your love is right It was on the wall with the meat of a nectarine That she picked earlier Chest to draw is free while the skeleton parade marches past you, carrying bird balloons. They fly backwards and forwards. The streets can be eerie, the streets can be dreary. It's as if leprosy had landed on the moon and it cast a filthy glow in the world. And in my room, it's as if leprosy had landed on the moon and it cast a filthy glow in the world. And in my room, it's as if leprosy had landed on the moon and it cast a filthy glow in the world. And in my room, it's as if leprosy had landed. Like little sparrows My limbs, my love are lost on you
they were so still and both our hearts they were I've always been the type of person that like I love to focus on something for many many hours at a time and I love that feeling of being so in into what you're working on that you forget to eat and you're just up late and that that excitement of creating something and I'd, I'd felt that in the past before making music with editing short films that I'd made and that kind of thing in high school. When I'm working on my own I can work late into the night put my headphones on with technology now you can literally plug your guitar using an interface but like right into your laptop essentially and have like stadium sounding guitars coming into your headphones and you can plug in your keyboard and write symphonies with your fingertips like it's super easy to do and to build a record by yourself if you want to and I thoroughly enjoy it. Well I bled blue blood from my back last night I was alone
to an egg without a yolk. I was unborn when I was younger. I was unborn when I was younger. But I was rebuilt when you spoke. I awoke when you spoke. You said there's always a reason for leaving. There's always a reason to stay. I know. I just can't stay and I say I'm um. Besides playing in Maine, Boston was the first big city that I ever played in. And at the time, being 18 or maybe 19 when I first came here, I think my first show was at All Asia, which I don't even think that's around anymore. I don't know. It was, I think it was in Cambridge. And then the Lizard Lounge in Cambridge. Um, and then I played a ton at, like, TT the Bears and Middle East upstairs. Those shows are very mem memorable for me because it was those were the times where I felt like I was starting to be on my path like I would walk home with fifty dollars and be like oh my gosh I can pay my electricity bill with with playing music that's insane and I owe that to Boston I mean that this city is what made me realize that I if I hustled I could do what I want to do uh, so I have a to me Boston is an extension of my home town and when I play here I feel like I'm playing to my home crowd and I get the sense that it's a mutual feeling like I really feel like my Boston fans claim me as much as my main fans do and that is important to me. <laughs> Press my ear against your back, not even a week after we met. Now I felt your heartbeat fall like raindrops in a bucket. I used to have a pretty nice spine, but I neglected to give it a name. So each time I tried to straighten it, I couldn't get its attention. And I place my palm upon your collarbone. And I wish to fall asleep deep in your mail. As gently as a mouse curled up in a ball As gently as a mouse until tomorrow We ripped off all our clothes and this included all our jewelry And we ran hand in hand back when you brought out the beast in me The parts that are dormant I wish to set them free And in the clarity of this night, I'll make myself believe I can sleep easily alone. But there's a hunger under my skin, and it's gripping at my bones. There's a hunger like a lion's, and it's ripping right through my bones. So I push my limbs all forward like a tree does in the storm And then I walk into my kitchen and I lean against the window I'm as calm as a baby lamb that is being led Goddamn joke! 
For a heart beats the best in a bed beside the one that it loves. Oh, yes, a heart beats the best when in your head death becomes irrelevant. Cause if you're dreaming about dying, then you're not really living, darling. You've got to be starving, you've got to be starving for it. And if you're crying. Twist your hips, crane your neck. Twist your hips, crane your neck. Twist your hips. your body back you've got to be starving you've got to be starving for it you've got to be starving you've got to be Ten is a really important song to me. It's um, it's basically a, a sort of a compilation of memories from my life and, that are just very tender about you know my relationship with my younger sister, um, a memory about um, driving in the mountains with one of my closest friends when you know when we were in our I guess early twenties, um, and then a memory of my mom's as told to me um, it kind of ends the song and uh, it's my it's a waltz uh, uh, it's I usually end the set with it it's just a special very personal song So easily I forgot lifting the sandbox in Arizona and catching the geckos. 
so much I won't forget this night. I really appreciate you. Thanks again to Connor. Thanks to House of Blues and to Clark and Mike for running our sound. Thanks to TJ and Derek as well. I'll be at the merch table all night. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>